we are going to be cutting this bubble. So my fabric is folded into two and this is going to be the back of the dress. It's not going to have the back. The center back here is on fold, okay? And the front, the center front will be open because it's going to have that turn in front. So this is the starting point. So because it's a booboo dress, you need to measure, you know, from here to this place. I want it to be 18, then it's going to have some gathers here. So from here to here, you know, everything should just be 27 inches, okay? So if I want to do 27 inches, I want here to be 18. So I have the 18 right here. This 18 includes my seam allowance for joining it together with that pleated part. It's just going to be like this. And then from here downward, I'm going to measure 28 inches. Okay. So on this 28 inches mark, don't forget the down part is the back part. So just measure from that folded edge that you have. Just use your hand. And then you input an hip circumference divided by 4. 44 divided by 4, that will be 11. So you measure the 11. Then you had your same allowance of 2 inches. Okay. Then you really straight down if you don't want it to have slit in front okay you can add ease like maybe extra three or it's additional two let's add it additional two two and a half so that it will be free down it's not going to have so that she can be able to walk very well you get so going to really straight down to the end line so you can cut it out now but before you cut it out, don't forget to measure the length. It's exactly what I have there. So let's cut it out. So the next thing now is to shape the neckline. So from the foot, you know, the folded edge is down. So from that folded edge, just measure three inches then we're going to be dropping this shoulder by one and a half make sure one and a half here and you connect them together this way then you are going to add half inch to this line for the seam allowance okay for shoulder seam allowance can you see like this so the next thing now is to input the neckline so it's having color. So I'm going to make the neck width to be 3.75. I'll measure the 3.75 here. So for the neck, the neck depth at the back, I'm going to be doing one and a half. So from this one and a half, I'll connect it this way. Can you see? Just like this. Then the front neckline is going to be a V neckline. So you determine how deep you want it. It's not going to be so deep. So I'm going to do nine inches. Okay, so it's going to just be like I'm shocking this on the good side because it's booboo dress, okay? So it's just going to be like this, exactly like this. So I'm going to cut the front, the back neckline first, then cut out the shoulder, and then I will remove the back before I will now reshape the front neckline. So it's like this. So this is it. So we are going to remove the back now. The back is ready. So I'll work on the front. So this is the front. So I'm going to cut off the neckline. Just cut a V neckline. And the other thing I did in front, I modified the front neckline. So you can see this folded edge is the center back, but then here is the center front now. So I reduced the width of the front. I reduce the width by one inch from here to here. I just measure it inward and trim it off from the front. Okay. Neckline. So this is the bubble. The first thing is for you to join the neckline together. Join them together on the shoulder like this. So I'll join them together on the shoulder with half inch. And after that, from one M line to the other, I'll measure the neckline. Whatever I get, that's what I'm going to be using to cut out the collar.
I'm done joining the shoulders together so this is how it's looking the width of the collar unfold when you fold it into two so unfold now is three inches unfold so meaning if you open it is six okay if you open it is six but when you put it on fold it's three inches so the next thing is just for me to fuse it with my interfacing so after fusing it with my interfacing i'll fold it into two like this and iron the next thing now is to attach the collar so you start attaching the collar starting from the m line you know starting from the hem line you match the mouth of the collar together this way and you're going to join all around through the neckline and back to the other hem line like so so i quickly joined the mouth of the collar together like this so that by the time i'm attaching it to the dress it's not going to be shifting up and down okay so the next thing now is for me to attach the collar to the neckline so i'm starting from one m line in front so i'm going to sew through to the neckline and then back to the other m line in front okay so i'm done attaching the collar to the neckline and i've also weaved the edges you know, i've weaved the raw edges together I'm going to flip the back out of the way this way. So I've flipped the back of the dress out of the way like this. So what I need to do next is just to place the collar on top of each other. You know, like this. Place it on top of each other this way. And then you are going to top stitch this part all the way down to the hemline can you see like this or if you don't know the exact position where the neck should be you can place it on your neck like this can you see so place it on top of each other like this so that you can note the position where you start from so place them so from here now i'll just shock it so I'm, i'll pin from here all the way down i'll top stitch this side of the collar to the neck to the other side of the collar all the way down to the hemline so starting from this point so now that i've located the point that i want to start from i can just use my hand and hold it and pin so i've pinned it so i'll remove it from my neck so i'm going to take it to the machine now and i'll top stitch this collar on the other side like this all the way down to the M line so if you want it to have slit before you reach the M point you stop from the good side this is it so you just have to use your um your ribbon or whatever decoration you want to use to decorate it so you start stitching from one from the hem line from the hem line of the dress like this you stitch so you start from the hem line all the way to the neck and then back to the hem line again just follow it like so So if you are putting slit, you see this is how it's going to be. Can you see it? So I'm done and this is our collar. You can see how beautiful it's looking. Very pretty. So where is the mannequin for you to see? 
so this is the outcome of our dress so uh, i went ahead i attached the ruffle to the uh, sleeve area and i closed the side of my dress just as simple as that okay so i believe you've learned one or two things from this video today if you have learned one or two things please kindly leave a comment in the comment section and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one bye